Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today, I want to discuss how to create interactive slide presentations in Adobe InDesign. In this lesson, we'll go over how to create button structures and add animation. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started on creating our interactive slide presentation for mobile. As you can see in my document set up here in the properties panel, I'm working on an iPhone X page size and the document has five pages. So we're gonna set up buttons to go through the five pages as well as animation to each illustration at the top of the page to load when we click the next button or previous button, okay? So let's go ahead and start creating the buttons first or setting them up and then we'll move on to adding animation to the illustrations. So as you can see on each page, I have a forward and previous button, which I've gone ahead and created previously. And so for this lesson, we're gonna need, again, we're gonna need two panels here. So if you go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms, Window, Interactive, Animation. Okay, so those are the two panels that you're gonna need to get uh, to set up the buttons and as well as the animation later on. So I'm gonna focus in on my first forward button here. I'm gonna pull the buttons and forms window closer so we can see. And so what I wanna do is add or create that first forward button into, or that, that object into a button. So go ahead and click on it and then click button. And I'm gonna rename this button. So I'm just gonna say forward button one. And so the event can be on release or tap, that is okay. And in the actions, I'm going to set it up to go to a page. Now there's two ways of setting this button up. You can have it go to the next page. So if it's going to, to the next page from page one to page two, the next page will work. If you wanted the page or the button to go to a specific page in EPUB only, you would have it set up to go to a page and then you can actually put in the specific page number. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna show you how to set it up by going to a page. So I'm gonna click that. And so the zoom can be inherit zoom, that's fine. And I do want this to go to page two. So you can see in the field down below here, instead of page one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna type in page two. And so now we can go to page two and we can, we can do the same thing there. So create that into a button, forward button two, and the action will be go to page, and this will go to page three. And now that we're here, we can go ahead, actually let's take care of the forward buttons first, just so we're not confusing things. So let's go to page three, click that, third forward button, create it into a button, forward button three. The action is go to a page and we're going from page three to page four, okay? So let's go to page four now, click that forward button, convert it into a button, forward button, I believe that's forward button four. The action is go to a page, and this is page four going to page five. And if you're ever confused on what page you're on, just re reference your pages panel on the side here. You can see the four is highlighted. Great, so all my forward buttons, actually we've got one more here. So technically on page five, there is no more forward. There's not a page six, but what I'll do is have this loop back to page one. So I'm gonna click this forward button convert it to a button and call it button forward button six, no five, and release or tap. We want it to go to a page and let's have it go back to page one. That's great. So I'm gonna go ahead back to page two and now we're gonna do the same thing with the previous button. So I'm gonna click button. I'm gonna turn that into a button and this will be previous button um, one. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's go, let's go, go to page one. 
and let's set this up as previous button one. And what, what we'll do here is previous button one will take me. So I'm gonna go to a page and I'm on page one now. So the previous button will be page five, okay? So I'm on page one, the forward will take me to two, but the back will take me to the back, so page five. Now I'll go to page two and let's create that into previous button two and go to page and so we're on page two and so this will take me to page one great let's go to page three click on the type and we want button this is previous button three with an action of go to page and we're on page three going backwards to page two let's click four we're almost done here i know this can be a little confusing as you're going through it so we're on page four i click the previous button icon i'm going to convert the object to a button and this will be previous button four with an action of going to a page and we're on page four going to page three and I believe we have one more to go here. So we're on page five. I'm gonna click on that previous button, convert the object to a button. And this is previous button five. And it's gonna to go to a page and we're on page five. And if we go back one, it'll be page four. Great, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna test this out. I'm gonna publish it because if you open it in the EPUB preview window, actually you won't be able to test it out there because this only previews the first page. So even if you click these, it's not gonna take you anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly publish this online and I'm going to test out the buttons to make sure they all work. All right, so let's test out the forward buttons first. So I'm gonna click through, perfect. So that loops right through. You notice it went from five back to one, which is good, exactly what I wanted. And let's test out the previous buttons. So back, perfect. So all the buttons that we've just set up are properly working. Now we're gonna go ahead and add animation to the illustration so that when we click each page, the animation will load from left, fly in from left or fly in from right. All right, so let's go ahead and add the animation to the illustrations. I'm gonna click on the first one and I've gone ahead and renamed this one to page one animation. The preset, I want this first one to fly in from right. Now I want this to fly in from a further distance. So remember to do that, you can click on the motion path, which is the green arrow when you click on the animation. So I'm gonna click on that and now I have a little bit more control. So I'm gonna grab the right hand side of the motion path and just drag it off the page. So now if I click on the animation, you see with the motion path, it's gonna come in from a further distance. The duration at one second is just fine. If you want it to play out a little bit quicker, you can set it to 0.5 seconds. The opacity down below, I don't want it to fade in, so I'm gonna select none. Reason being is I want the animation to transition, um, you know, come in with a hard transition and not fade in at all, okay? So that one is set. I'm gonna go to page two and do the same thing, but I want to alternate. So that first one I have coming in from the right, flying in from the right. So this one will have, I'll call this one um, page two animation. And the preset here will be fly in from left. I'm gonna click on that motion path and I'm gonna drag the left side off the page. So the first one's coming in from the right. The second will fly in from the left. With this one, one second is fine as well. And I want the opacity to be none. I do not wanna fade in. Let's go down to the third one. I'm gonna click on it, page three animation. The preset here will be fly in from right. I'm gonna click on that motion path, drag the right hand side off the page. One second duration with a fade in of none. 
Let's go to that fourth one. Click on that fourth illustration. Page four animation. So I like to rename these as you know. That's optional, but it takes out any confusion. The preset here uh, will be fly in from left. I'm gonna click on that motion path. Drag the left hand side off the page. Click on the illustration again. The duration is one second. Fade in, none. And of course, if you do want to fade in, by all means, go for it. But I find for something like this where you're transitioning through at a fast pace, especially for mobile device, I find that it comes in um, a lot better when there's no opacity and the transi transition is better. So I'm going to click on that last one. Page five animation, the preset here is fly in from right. Let's click on that motion path, drag it to the right. I just want to make sure I'm on the Yep, so good, that's coming in from the right. And one second with a fade in of none. Great, so all my animation is set, all my button structures are set. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna publish this online and I'm gonna show you how it looks on mobile device. All right, so I've gone ahead and published the document online. I've opened it up on my web browser and let's test out the forward buttons first. You can see the animation come in as I'm making my way through the slides. And basically I'm just going through pressing the forward button that we added the button structure to. And you'll see that it loops back to page one. Let's test out the previous buttons now. And again, I'm just going backwards and you see the animations are coming in as we set them up from left to right on each page. So that works perfectly and it's a great way of showcasing your presentation slides for mobile. But again, this could be this could be set up for any document size or page size of your choice. So that's how you can create an interactive slide presentation in Adobe InDesign. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified when new videos have been posted. If you'd like to learn more about interactive design, check out these videos.